Hi, big tractor power fans. This video comes to you from a northeast Iowa hayfield where a Minneapolis Moline G1050 tractor is raking with a Vermeer 1022 wheel rake. In the video, we're going to take a look at this tractor's production history, specifications, original price tag, as well as talking about why the Vermeer 1022 hay rake is only raking on one side. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this tractor and rake in action. You might have noticed that the Vermeer 1022 hay rake being pulled by this Minneapolis Moline G1050 tractor is only being used on one side. Only half of the wheels are running and the other side is put up in the transport position. The reason the rake is being run this way is they're trying to lower the moisture level in the windrow. There is a New Holland Big Baller 330 just running a few passes behind the tractor and rake and typically they want to bale at 15% moisture and the moisture was still just a little high this afternoon with the rate just around 16-17% and by running the rake over it putting a little air into the windrow it would drop down and the baler could run just a few passes behind the rake and get the hay put up before a rainstorm came into the area. So Will, uh, what are you doing here with the tester? Well, I'm probing for moisture to make sure the monitor's reading correctly. What is the ideal moisture when you're big bailing like this? Uh, usually around that 15% mark is where you it, it, you don't have to put the acid on and you don't lose a lot of pro or protein and nutritional value out of the hay. So. I was always told when you're making dry hay that you want it to to be able to take a chunk and squeeze it in your hand and not prick you. That means a cow's going to want to eat it. You make dry hay and, it, and, it's, and it's tough and hard, you're not going to want to eat it as good as nice soft hay. It's good wise information and of course then we've got the technology now to back it up to make sure it's at the right percentage. Correct.
The G1050 was manufactured by White Farm Equipment, the parent company of Minneapolis Moline, at its Lake Street Tractor Factory in Minneapolis, Minnesota from 1969 through 1971. This tractor features an 8.3 liter, 504 cubic inch Minneapolis Moline engine. A diesel and an LP version were available. This machine was rated at 110 PTO horsepower. This tractor was available with two different types of Minneapolis Moline Amplitorque transmissions. The first was a two-speed power shift with 10 forward and two reverse speeds. The second was a three-speed power shift, which was a five-speed transmission with a three-speed power shift included that had 15 forward and three reverse speeds. The tractor is equipped with a 40-gallon fuel tank and weighed in at 10,700 pounds from the factory and could be field weighted up to 11,250 pounds. The machine that you're watching in this video, Raking Hay, is an excellent example of field weighting. It has a full set of slab weights on the front and weights added to the rear wheels. This additional weight would allow the tractor to gain extra traction when it encountered heavy tillage operations such as moldboard plowing in tough ground. The G1050 was among the last of the energy yellow tractors to roll off the Lake Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota tractor factory assembly line. On June 6, 1972, White Farm Equipment, the parent company of Minneapolis Moline, decided to close the factory after 70 years of production in that location. Minneapolis Moline tractor production was transferred from Minneapolis, Minnesota to Charles City, Iowa, where Oliver tractors were produced, also a subsidiary of White Farm Equipment. Minneapolis Moline's corporate offices in Hopkins, Minnesota assigned a retail list price of $11,784 to the G1050. Options that could be added to the tractor included the three-speed Amplitorque transmission, which was $455 extra, and the LP version of the tractor was $450 less than the diesel version. I hope you've enjoyed hearing and seeing this classic Minneapolis Moline G1050 tractor at work out in this Iowa hayfield. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 